Now it's time to look at a big croc. Like, really f***ing big. So I've often made claims of biggest insert name here. And due to the nature of paleontology, there is bound to be some vagueness that mean that people disagree with reasonable justification. I've even seen videos with claims that this is the biggest land carnivore to exist since the dinosaurs, but I haven't really seen this animal mentioned as much. Now granted, I'm not sure if you could count a semi-aquatic crocodilian as a proper land carnivore. But uh, I would say it's not far off considering the proximity to land, ability to traverse it, and the fact that fully terrestrial animals are on the mint. So what is this thing? Well, back in 1892, a botanist by the name of, and I'm really sorry if I'm butchering this, Joao Barbosa Rodriguez published findings of jaw fragments recovered from South America, noticing that they showed similarities with modern caimans with the exception being their size. Electing to name it Purosaurus brasiliensis. Now Purosaurus as a caiman isn't actually considered a true crocodile, but for all intents and purposes, it was close enough. Estimates from skull fragments have put this monster anywhere between 9.9 .9 and 15.8 meters, or 32 to 52 feet long. Just over two meters tall at the hip, and between 5.6 and 12.6 metric tons. I told you this was a big boy. This kind of size is easily a challenger for the biggest crocodilian alongside Dinosuchus and Sarcus. But the difference I find fascinating here is that this is a post-Cretaceous giant without as much competition as the other two. But what made it so big is something that I'll get into soon enough. In fact, if we again include semi-aquatic animals as terrestrial, this is the biggest Cenozoic predator on land that we know of. Likely similar in body morphology to the aforementioned crocs, Burosaurus was mainly different in the head. The skull was quite a bit shorter and wider, having an extraordinarily broad snout that is often cited as being the deciding factor that makes this guy heavier than Dinosuchus or Sarcosuchus, since this skull would require a lot more thick neck muscles in order to maneuver. Purosaurus has been found in various formations in South America that are Miocene in that year, having existed between 16 and 5.3 million years ago. The tropical areas that it inhabited were once filled with rivers, floodplains and lakes. Plenty of freshwater environments for Purosaurus to let everyone know he was top boy. Occupying the areas with this caiman were smaller crocodilians such as Charactosaurus, Morosuchus and Gryptosuchus. Giant turtles such as stupendomies, mammals like giant rodents, bats, primates, sloths and larger strapathes, which were large trunked hoofed mammals, all of which would have likely been on the menu for Purosaurus if they got some cloves. Speaking of eating, paleontologists used biomechanical models and discovered that Purosaurus was actually capable of performing death roll, a technique used by modern crocodilians in which they hold the prey in their mouth as they violently roll around, drowning and tearing their prey apart. Now, if any consolation, it's likely you'd be long dead before you went through this horrific experience, since it's estimated the Purosaurus bit down with a bite force of around 5.3 metric tons. In other words, you'd look a lot worse off than if you walked into the Star Wars convention and said that the Rise of Skywalker had really solid writing. So, Purosaurus is a textbook definition of overkill, but why? Well, even though no non-avian dinosaurs were stomping around, competition for a predator was fierce. Getting this big and strong means that you can pretty much eat anything you come across. So it's likely that competition pushed Purosaurus to reach these extremes. But it doesn't matter how big you get, rocks are always bigger. Paleontologists believe that Purosaurus went extinct as a result of the creation of the Andes Mountains. Tectonic movements changed the relief of the land so dramatically that many of the swamplands saw extreme changes. Much of the smaller fauna of these regions that kept Purosaurus' belly full went extinct, and this caiman needed a lot of food to sustain its gigantic sides. 
As a result, this giant eventually died out and we're yet to see a terrestrial predator to even come close to its size and strength ever since. Now I'm really pushing to improve this channel's content this year, so if you have any feedback, good or bad, let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe so you can see those improvements happening. Catch you guys next time.